Good evening. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Lauren Moss. Josh has the night off. We start with new details. A current employee at Landmark Praxis Recovery Center is speaking out to tell us how drugs are getting into the hands of patients at that rehab center. This after police responded to three overdose calls. Two of them were deadly with another patient taking their own life. Jack Springate joins us live at Praxis in Mishawaka. So Jack, what did that current employee at the facility tell you? Well, Lauren, the claims that we've heard from law enforcement as well as former employees the last several days seem to be right in line what with what this employee says he experiences on a daily basis. Now, this recovery center, you would think is the last place that you'd come to be able to find drugs, but this employee made it sound like patients come to Praxis because they know this is where they can find drugs. Now, first off, this employee says he's been tasked with responsibilities that he is in no way qualified for that also weren't part of the job description, including full body cavity searches, caring for patients with serious mental health diagnoses, and now searching for drugs. He claims other female employees started sexual relationships with some of the patients and eventually helped them get drugs while inside the facility. Now out of concern for his position with the company, we're not showing this employee on camera, but he did allow me to record his voice. So you understand just how many ways people are getting drugs into Praxis and how unprepared he feels to deal with it all. We have discovered uh, filters where you can you know, smuggle and hide drugs and you also have box springs that are you know, torn up and they smuggle drugs that way. I will say no one in this facility is trained on how to find drugs. You've had individuals that's been back four or five times in a two week span because they know the system. You know, they stash phones on the outside. They know that we are understaffed. They know they can get away with these things. And I actually did just speak with an administrator outside in the parking lot here at Landmark in Mishawaka. She said Landmark Recovery is committed to cooperating with all investigative efforts and self-reported to all regulatory and accrediting organizations. For the last time, reporting live here in Mishawaka, I'm Jack Springate, 16 News Now. All right, Jack Springate with new details on that crisis at Landmark Recovery. Jack, great work as always. Thank you.